Hi, my name is Jason Matthew from We Can EduTech, and today I'm going to show you how to add and format text in Articulate Rise 360. So let's get straight into it, guys. Okay, so I'm in Rise 360, and if you have been following my other videos, I would have created the Biochem 101 course in a previous video. So I'm just going to click on Biochem 101 and that opens up my course. And you can see I have an introduction section and I also have a section called the cell. And today I'm going to be adding text in the mitochondria lesson. So to add text, I first click on the right hand side where there's that button called add content. So I click on add content and then I have a choice between lesson and quiz. And today I'm adding content, I'm adding some notes, so I'm going to click on lesson. So now I'm in the mitochondria lesson and the block toolbar comes up. And the first block to choose from is the text block. So I can click on a text block and it gives me a heading with a paragraph. Now I can go in there and start editing right away. So I can, I can highlight heading and I could give a name such as structure that would be the heading and then I'm going to highlight the text the placeholder text that is there and I can now type in my text that I want so I'm going to just say in this section I will be discussing the structure of the mitochondria and I could continue typing out whatever I wanted for that in, to put in that text block. And then I can, well, I can highlight things. And if I highlight any text here, you see I get a toolbar. Okay, the, to format whatever text is in there. So like for instance, I can highlight mitochondria. Let's say I can bold it. I can even change the color if I wanted. Let's say I wanted a nice orange. If I click away, it has that now. So if I go to preview how this looks so far, I can click on the preview button and there you go. That's how the student's going to see it. So that's one way in which you can do it. So I'm going to go back to editing. So I'm going to click on the edit button. Once you have added a block, you can add another block by just clicking on one of these options here. You can even click on all blocks to get all the blocks on all the options. So if I click on text, you can see the different ways in which we can format text. So there's like, if you just want to put a paragraph of information, paragraph with heading, paragraph with subheading, if you just want a heading alone. And as you go down, there's two columns as well as there you can even add a table so let's add a table and see how that looks so if i add a table here now you can see i can edit this table if i just highlight the words in the table i can put a heading there so whatever heading you want and you can put a heading all right so you just label the headings and then you could put whatever information you want in these cells so let's put some information in these cells. Now let's say that these are the col columns, columns three, four, and five. You, you don't want those columns. You just wanted a two column table. Then you, you can highlight the three columns and then you go to the toolbar that comes up and there's one for row and then there's also one for column. You can click on the drop down menu and then it says delete the columns. And there you go. The three columns are deleted and now you have two columns. Now, if you want to add more rows, you can just click in one of the cells here and you go to the row um, option in the toolbar. You click the drop down menu and you can click insert row below or if you want to put it above or if you even want to delete the row. So, so you can do things like that and you can build your table. Now I have two text blocks. So I have this one and I have this other one. What I can do is that I can add blocks in between these things by just going by where the two blocks join and you see a plus sign comes up. I might click on that plus sign, 
then I can add additional blocks between them. So just for to show you, I could have added an image between that if I wanted. So if I click on an image, and I'll just choose something at random. You see, there you go. If you watch what you have now, you have text, you have an image, and you have the table. So just remember, if you go to the edges, so wherever, uh, like if for instance, if I wanted to add a new block that's above this image, I just have to go to where the image block meets the a block above, and I can click the plus sign, and so and likewise below. Now, if you've been following my videos, the other tip that I give when it comes to text is that you should, you know, create do do a lot of pre work as much pre work as possible. So, like for instance, like if the notes that you want to add in your modules, if you can create that in a Word document, then it's a simple way of copying and pasting when you're ready. Okay, so let's see how that looks in practice. So I'm going to go to the top of this mitochondria lesson and right at the top, I'm going to click on the plus sign. So that's going to give me a, an option to put a block right at the beginning of the lesson. So I click on the plus and I choose text and I'm going to choose uh, probably subheading with a paragraph. So I click on that. And as usual, what Rise will do is give me some placeholder stuff there that I can switch with. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to decrease the size of this screen. So now if you watch, I have my screen with my Rise module on the left hand side. And I have a Word document that I had typed up before with some notes about the structure of the mitochondria. So for the subheading, I'm going to call that structure. So I highlight subheading and then I paste in the text. All right, it might have been just faster to write that, but this other stuff, like if you could do, as I said, all the pre-work before, you can copy the text from your Word document. Then you select all the text, the placeholder text there, and you paste in, you could Either click um, Control V if it's a Windows computer, Command V if it's a Mac computer to paste any text. And now you have your notes inside there. So you can either have typed it in into Rise or you could have done it before on Word and then copy and paste it into Rise as well. So like I can do some formatting as well so like let's say i wanted to bold the word mitochondria i highlight the word or i select the word mitochondria i can give it a bold color i can also change the color by hitting this little um teardrop here and i could change it let's say i want a nice blue now when i click away from it you see the mitochondria has the blue color similarly if i wanted to turn this into a list I can again highlight those things and then there's the ordered list like if i want one two three four or if i want an unordered list as bullet points i can do it like this as well so you see you can continue formatting the text in the rise module so let me maximize the screen there so as you can see now look at this so this is what i copy and pasted from my word document that i had prepared previously straight into my rise module so how cool is that and you could continue editing there. Now, a few other things about the text block is that if I go to the left hand side in any text block, I can click the drop down menu and I can change this into different formats. So, for instance, if I just want it to be a paragraph alone, I could choose paragraph. If I want to, let's say now I wanted two columns instead of one, if I click there, you see. The text that I originally have goes into one column and then I can enter new text now into the new column. And so you could keep ch changing what you want or how the format is. So let's go back now to paragraph with heading and you see it comes back there. The last thing I want to show you all that you could do is you can use what is called the quick insert tool. I'm going to put my cursor and click on the last word I have there, right next to the period there. 
And if I just click enter, if you have a Windows keyboard, you click return if you have a Mac keyboard, you see there's this plus sign that just comes up and that's, that's your quick insert tool. Now if I click on the plus sign, it gives me three options. I can insert a table, I can insert an ordered list, or I can insert an on, unordered list. So let's try the ordered list for now. So one, and I just type in something here, and then if I click enter or return, it gives me option two, and I keep going like that. And so I can add an ordered list. Now let's say that there was only two items I had. So I have already typed them out. Now if I click enter or return, it will give me a third option, but we don't want that. So just click enter and return one more time, and it goes to a new line. And there you can either use the quick insert tool once more to insert a table or some list, or you can just type on your keyboard, or you can copy and paste from a Word document. So that's how you build text out in the RISE module. And to get the latest videos that we produce on RISE and other education technologies, please visit our Weekend EduTech YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel so you can get the latest updates. And please like our videos. We really appreciate the support. Thank you. Take care. Please be safe. Talk to you soon.